So, this is my new Cam Studio open source video recorder. And this is my tutorial talking about how to create a bus. And this is my design suite. So now I'm going to create a bus. This is my old schematic and I've pre-baked the cake, meaning I've already put a bus onto one of my 4-bit counters. So <coughs> instead of taking out the individuals uh, instead of taking out the individual uh, pins to individual ports, here is a concatenation of four output pins into a bus and put uh, and put onto one output bus port. This is good. Uh, though it's a bit different uh, from the other kinds of manipulating the schematics. So to create a bus what you do is you create a piece of wire. Nice long piece of wire. Then you do something new. You give a name to the wire. This has always been possible, but never really been used by me. The name of the wire can be anything. Confirming to VHDL naming rules. Uh, the name of the wire in this case would be uh, indicating the minutes counted by this nice little counter. So I will name this uh, minutes. Uh, when naming a bus, I also have to uh, indicate the numbering of the individual wires inside the bus. So this bus is named minutes from element number 3 down to element number 0, like this. After uh, putting this net name in this, uh, I will I only have to like place this net name. So when I put this net name out here, I'll put it a bit up because I want to connect this to the individual bustles afterwards. It will just put the text right here. I still have the net named attached to my cursor uh, so I'll press escape and then, then it goes so now well, what I need to do is I need to connect these uh, individual wires to the um, to the actual bus what I need to do is I need to put on what's called taps to the bus and the, the tap <clears throat> the, when I do it like this, there's an orientation to the, of the tap. I will change this to right, and then I can place these taps. I'll try to place them like uh, in the same height as wanted from my little counter. So something like this, something like ah, oh, nice work. Do -do 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 -do. And the last one, something like here. Uh, escape to release this tapping. Next, connect the wires. Add a wire from this output pin to this tap. And escape. Maybe I can do it better, maybe I can do that, and that, 
Okay, so starting from the first tab, it's a bit easier. Yeah. Still, something is missing. Still, the numbering of the individual wires into the bus is missing. This is also done by the naming options. So what I do is I put a name to each of these. It still holds the old name. Uh, the naming of the top one is the first one I'm going to get to do. So the name of what here is Q0 is supposed to go to the minutes and is going to connect to minutes element number zero. So what I do is I will do something like deleting tree uh, colon and putting this name to the top element like this. Oop. And there you go. I have a nice uh, facility. I can do something like increase the name meaning that when I place element number one at this pin it will automatically increase the name to element number two I can immediately place it here and place it here and finished um, escape it to let go of this a nice new facility from using buses is that when I am adding an in-out marker to the end of this it is already an in-out marker of a bus um, rotate wow and move a bit wow uh, trimming down the end of this I guess I can do that no. yes Uh, I need to be very careful about choosing the right names for this. So if I was if I was doing a, an error in the naming of the individual pin names uh, towards the full pin name, I would have errors. So next thing is go to design mode and check that I have for my minutes thing that I can uh, check design rules I want to save yes please and success this concludes this little video about using bustles for a uh, schematic entry I think that ah, it is almost concludes this because I want just to try to create a schematic symbol uh, to see how that works. Take this symbol, hmm. and there it is, and there it is, and I try to put it here. This is not meant to be here because I can't put the schematic symbol of some element into a to the element itself but what i see is i see this is my minutes counter with a clock and count enable output and two buses as the outputs so when i connect wires to the clock input it will be a wire but if i connect wire to the bus end it will become a more thick wire indicating that this is really a bus finished over and out i will have to delete this otherwise i will get errors eventually stopping my cam studio recorder